Yeah. Shout out to seeing the podcast. I have a special guest today. Got my man Jason on here from Infuse. Um, now, if y'all don't, if y'all don't know. If you ever want to find me, you come to Infuse. This is my water hole. This is my spot. This is where I come. That's where the best hookah, have the best drinks, and I lie the most. And this it, is gets, where on, I, this it is, gets on me the most. This is, this is where I really cap. So, let's start off. I don't care about what you do in your life right now. I want to talk. I'm gonna talk about these damn Georgia Bulldogs and this goddamn Alabama. Okay. What do you want to talk about? I'm aggressive. What do you want to talk about? You want to talk about back-to-back national championships? Back to back, back to back, back to back. The last two years, the quote of the day the other day was, what have you done for me lately? And what has Alabama done for you lately? Why you got to touch me? No, 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 listen, so, so, so you guys have three chips, right? Yes. Three chips. Three. How much, how many chips does Alabama have? It doesn't matter. You got 17. Did you not hear the quote earlier? What have you done for me lately? Okay, so we're having a rough season this year. Uh, we got, we got, we got, we got, we got, well, last year, we, 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 we it, it was issues. You lost two. Two. You lost two games last year, did you not? We lost, we lost two games. Okay. You lost one this year. The Tennessee game hurt us. Yeah. Tennessee game hurt us. South Carolina? That was bad. No, no. Tennessee lost South Carolina. Oh, yeah. Well, who'd you Tennessee lost like a, you lose to? I forgot we lost to them. We lost Tennessee. That, was, that, was, that hurt me. And L, L, if you see this, fungal you, fungal you. I don't like that. Happy early birthday, Thursday, L. But y'all ain't going nowhere this year either. <laughs> Tennessee ain't going nowhere. But so the SEC is, okay. is, is the biggest conference. We know that when you go through the SEC, that's, that's, the, that's the game. That mean, is, everybody that is, knows that. That's the SEC g- that's the is the strongest conference period, and everybody in the Big 12, Pac, whatever, Big 10, Pac-12, ACC will argue that right. forever. Right. But everybody that's ever played football knows SEC is the toughest division, division. period, point blank. So you, got, you, you, guys have been, you guys have been going hard. You guys have been going hard for a while, uh, and, and you guys have been winning for the last Undefeated years. in 23 games. I don't, you, you want them stats, guys. You I, mean, I just pay attention to my team. Stats guy. Okay. <laughs> Well, look, so I'm blessed to have Jason on this podcast um, today. Um, this is my water hole infused. Um, a lot of good people come through here, a lot of great people, yeah. a lot of athletes, a lot of, a lot of influencers will float through here. Just genuine people. Genuine people. Yeah. Uh, Tuesdays are half off. Yes, they are. Uh, you come Every here. Every half off. It's half off Tuesdays. It's neighborhood night. Neighborhood night. Neighborhood night. Yeah. Half off Tuesdays here. Every, everything, liquor, beer, is all half off. And Fridays, we have the... Gentlemen's club it's in like, here. It's like guys night, man. It's guys, it's like night, guys here. night, man. So what's 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 guys night in a fuse? Guys night is all the fellas. Everybody we I mean, even even people that we have met recently, even mm. people that we have met ten years ago, mm. anybody that's genuinely it's like family. Right. We're family here, right? Right. I we mean are. we call we call it we call it family, we call it whatever we want to. Right. We all meet up. We just enjoy ourselves. Mm. We talk about sports, we talk about music. The only thing we don't talk about, and this is infused, this is a bar. Politics. The only thing we don't is politics and we don't religion. Do politics. We don't we don't get into that here. We get into everything that makes you laugh and cry at the same time. The, the iPad gets the iPad goes around to everybody uh, and it gets broken until uh, it gets broken. Until it gets broken. <laughs> the iPad passes around. We we do we do music wars where who's better than who. Remember mm. we do Ti against yep. Ti whoever against, GZ, Ti against fifty fifty whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, we yeah, do man, all that. Man, yeah. man, do that. It's so a, it's just your neighborhood bar. So so how did you get started in the bar industry? Give me a background, like because you're mm-hmm. you're a very, you're a big influ- influencer in Charlotte. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people know who mm-hmm. you are. But how did you get started? What what was your journey in, into being in this atmosphere in, in, in the industry? Yeah, well, basically, I started for a corporation, a restaurant corporation. I started for Outback. I was with Outback for eight years. Um, I had my son, um, and I realized I couldn't be traveling. 18 days out of the month right. while my son was born. So I moved away from Outback and I started at Tilt on trade. Um, I worked for Tilt. I went in there within six, seven, seven, eight months. I was, became GM of Tilt. Right. I was there for about eight years okay. as their GM. Ran that. Um, I knew Chet Desai um, from Stash House. Right. Everybody remember Stash House. Shout out to Charlotte. Yep. RIP Stash House. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, I knew him because I was in there. Stash was a vibe. And I went over there, <clears throat> had a conversation with him. He took me on as his GM, mm. and uh, we did phenomenal. And then, why was my tenure with the Stash House? We 
Chet found this, right. ultimately. Scott, who owned it before, knew Chet, called, said, hey, I got an opportunity. We came over here. We ended up getting, taking it over, and then we ended up losing Stash House. Um, but I thank Chet every day. Mm. Chet, when Chet brought me into what he does, Chet is a worker. Yes, he is. That man, even when we're on vacation, he's working. Yes. <laughs> I've been on multiple vacations, and as we're on vacation, he's right. always looking for the next advance. The next, next um, he's just, he's a, he's a savvy, smart businessman. Right. Um, he came from nothing. Right. He did what he had to do. He got hit where he is, and, and he, he's excelled in every platform. And he's a Mob Deep fan, too. Yeah, yeah that's cute. He's from Toronto. <laughs> He's from Toronto. He should be. Yeah, he should yeah, be. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, he just—he's—he's a, he's a, he's a genuine person. So I thank him for everything. We found Infuse. Infuse is a local bar. Yeah. Uh, we've been here about five years, but it was Infuse before that. Okay. It was Infuse for about six years <clears throat> before that. Yeah. Um, before we took. And it I was—I was here. I actually used to come here before. Uh, Chet, Chet bought yeah, you and Chet, Chet had place, a situation, yeah. um, but they made it. They made it better, and um, and I will tell you, like um, when I had when I had my bar, you know, Secret Society, I used mm -hmm. to come here to to to, to relax, <laughs> to relax and let my before let my skirt over. Before before I, remember, I, remember. <laughs> I met you. I met you at Stash. I uh -huh. remember I met you at Stash, and I think I met you at Tilt before. Uh -huh. But we never became friends until we until I met you walking in here. Yes, and it was just one of those things that you meet. You meet a genuine person mm -hmm. that's that will talk to you and tell you anything, and also will tell you when you're in the wrong. You yeah. know, we've gone through yeah. that before. We've had our yeah. ups and downs. Yep. Yep. I've come out to you and, and said what I feel, and you've yeah. come to me and said what you feel, Yo, and we have our attitude. I've, I've sat here and texted Jason, said I ain't coming back to this bar ever again. And then I said, the hell, the hell, hell with y'all, you gotta go. Shots fired, man down. And you know what? I'll be back there on Friday. <laughs> And I see him That'd on be Friday. Wednesday, and I'll be back there and on I Friday. See, and I see him on Friday, and, 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 and it's all love always, no matter what happens. We're, yeah. we're, we're men. We're yes. going to argue over yes. sports. We're going to we argue are. over music. We're going to argue over Reggie Noble. Um, Red man. Reggie. <laughs> but it always comes back to, to Infuse. So, so where, do you see, where do you see the brand of Infuse going? Because I believe in the brand so much. Mm -hmm. um, where do you see the brand of Infuse going in the future? And... And I want you to answer this question seriously. I mean, you've been serious, of course, but like you, you have such a, a different influence of people coming through this bar. Mm -hmm. um, politicians, athletes, mm -hmm. uh, different races, everything. Where do you see the brand going in the future? The brand will always be the brand. Uh, Infuse, like I said, we, brand, we branded Infuse as home base. Correct. Cheers. So whenever, cheers. It is it's literally like cheers because we have so many regulars, and so I'm many people, and, and, and I'm norm that frequent with us. Right. Now, at the end of the day, Chet has a couple other businesses that everybody goes to. So I like those businesses. What other businesses? Imperial. Okay. Um, right off College. Right. Para is his okay. restaurant in South End off Tremont. Um, he opened Clubhouse off Central. Right. <clears throat> which is a restaurant. Uh, it's not a hookah bar. It's a restaurant. Bar Kitchen. atmosphere yep. in Central. Yep. Um, he's got a new one that's opening in a, in, a, in a couple in a month, month or a half called for called 160. Mm -hmm. He's also got Temple, which is in Arsley. If you're living out in South End, go to Arsley, see Big Chris, see Chet, Perv, everybody, and and enjoy yourself. But there's so many brands everywhere. Infuse is such a small home base style. Mm -hmm. Right. Like we could put it anywhere. Yes. But as of right now, with where the world was going with COVID, it's kind of just. We accept where we're at at this moment, but we always want to bring bring more stuff out. That's a great segue. So, how did you go when you when you guys were, you guys stayed open during COVID? Mm -hmm. um, I remember guys come here all the time. Mm -hmm. How did you how did you navigate that situation with COVID when when everything was going down? Well, we followed we followed the rules during COVID because there was a good there was a good I think almost a year that you couldn't be open. Yes, um, but. As that point, Chet and Ricky, Chet and Ricky, his, his other business partner and his his main guy, they started a uh, PPE thing where we literally he started a, a a distribution of gloves, masks, and all that stuff. So literally, for most of COVID, I was in here with boxes shipping them out. Right, you were <laughs> for all that you stuff. Were. They were. created a mask factory in Puerto yep. Rico. Chet and Ricky started a. A mask factory in Puerto Rico, so we were getting our own mask. I got some up there. The, you remember the black mask with yeah. the orange laces, and yeah. they had the black and the pink. Yeah. That's all there. It's Amer It was American made. It's in Puerto Rico. Oh wow! Um, so it kind of it kind of started. So it was just me down here every day, a right. couple hours fulfilling orders, sending them right. out. So it was cool. But then when they allowed us to open back up, people wanted to get out. Yes. People wanted to be outside. They did. They did. They did. And so it didn't matter if we uh, we opened at twelve o'clock and we had to close at nine o'clock. We'd still be open twelve to nine. 
But as soon as they said we could open, it didn't matter what the times were. If they told me I could open at 9 in the morning, I would have been here. Um, because people want to be out. Yeah. So we had such a strong following with our regulars that as soon as they heard we could be open, we were, we were just going. And we're a smaller bar. We're a 50 person capacity, 49 person capacity. At the end of the day, if I get 49 people in here, I'm winning. So to have my regulars so supportful, you, everybody else that comes in, like, why wouldn't you? Why would you have to be open? There's no reason not to. And, it's, and, it, and, and that was the greatest thing is because we knew it. We could. Like mm -hmm. these clubs and these bars that couldn't open because they're 200 person capacity and stuff mm -hmm. and they're not gonna, they're not gonna make the money. We can because we're here and we're home base. We're where so, everybody wants to be. Excellent. Um, so another thing I wanna ask you like, so when I come in here, I always see an array of, of, of liquor stock. Um, how do you determine if somebody comes to you and says, you know, I want to have, have a new liquor coming out or whatever, and you, and you give them a chance to have the liquor? Mm -hmm. how, how do you determine that? Like, how do you, and, and how do you know when it's time to move an old liquor out? So in the business, there is a lot of reps. There's a lot of people that rep certain brands of liquor, and they all want you to try it. And I, this is one, another thing that I give to Chet. Chet, if, if you want to try something, we, are the fir we will be the first person to put it out there. Mm -hmm. um, if I call them and say, hey, I got a new liquor brand that wants to be in here, we can go over uh, Clarence with Baby Mama. Baby, beer. Baby Mama beer. Shout out he to Clarence. Came, yeah. Clarence came to me and said, hey, I want to put Baby the beer Mama in here. Yep. You're local. You're yep. a black owned business. Yep. Why wouldn't I try it? Why wouldn't you try it? Because if it takes off. Now, if it didn't do well, which it has, it's done right. phenomenal. But if it didn't do well, why wouldn't I put it in here? Yeah. It's just like, it's just, it's just like with anything else. It, we're going to try anything. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we're too, we're too, we're too. We're too small not to. Right. I don't want to say too small not to, but we have so many people that come in here. Mm. If you try something and like it, mm. it's going to spread through here before it spreads through a bigger, a other bigger establishment. Got because it. people are going to try it. So yeah, I mean, it, it's it's easy. It's easy when it comes to that. I mean, everybody has what they like to drink. Like everybody that. drinks what certain things. But it is also about the times. We've 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 watched Patron go to Casamigos, Casamigos go to Don Rep. You know, we've watched right. these trends. Right. And 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 it's it's always going to be there. So what I, what I love, to, love to always do is I do a health segment mm -hmm. with, the, with the podcast. You guys know we're moving towards that. Um, so you being, you being a, a bar manager and a bar owner, you understand that people come in here and they have their problems. Mm -hmm. and, and, be, and, and, being, and being on the, on the other side, how do you deal with that? Mental health. Okay. Everybody personally has something they're going through. Nobody's perfect. Right. We we are a bar. We are a bar. Right. So we have been named counselors. We've been named therapists. We've been named. Even though we have we sell you alcohol, we still are here. So when somebody walks into the bar, right. as a as a bartender, you can you can literally like read how that person's feeling. Mm. Like if you walk into the bar and I never met you before and you right. have a mo mood about you. Right. Oh man, I just I just lost my job. Right. Like, I've been there with a, you. As a bar, I got, I got, I got, I got laid, I got laid off yeah, one time. Yeah, yeah. Like, I came, I came in here, I came in here, got laid off. That's not cap. That's not cap. <laughs> no, that's not um, cap. That's not you cap. Can, you can read, so you can read into yeah. people, and if you're a bartender, a good bartender, you need to read into that. You don't need to come into a business upset, mad about your personal life because you're having to deal with other people's personal life. So if I come in here mad on a day that me and my girlfriend get in an argument, so I'm frustrated, and then you come in here on a day that you're mad because you got laid off, mm -hmm. how do I treat you? rudely or disrespectfully when you're upset what you're what you're what you're doing is you're, you're basically you're basically a, 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 a counselor i mean yeah you're, 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 you're yeah you're another counselor yeah so 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 my so my thing is is that um how do you how do you how do you uh you got you got so i know you have a group of a group of guys that you always hang out with i'm one of them mm -hmm. um and how do you, everybody how, we we have, we have multiple we have other bars, yeah. people that work that work at other bars, yeah. other restaurants, other businesses. Yeah. We have athletes. Right. We have politicians. You never know who somebody is. Mm. We could have somebody walk in here and, and have flip flops on and socks in between their toes, and, right. and, and but they could be somebody important. You don't know. You don't care. Right. Because at the end of the day, I'm trying to sell you a drink, but I'm right. also trying to listen to your problems because this is where you're at. Well, well, you, well, you know what? I will I will tell you this. I've watched, I've watched you. I've, I've been a, I've been a fan of yours for, a, I'm a fan and friend of yours. And I, and I, how do you, how do you, how do you maneuver? I, I see, I see you maneuver around different, different, different people, different things. What, what do you feel is your greatest asset 
that, to how you maneuver. What's, what's your personality like? Like, how do, how do you do that? My greatest asset is everybody that's in here. I love it. Anybody, mm. anybody's asset is who they who they can accomplish with and off of. A conversation can be a great conversation, can be a bad conversation. But mm -hmm. again, you you, I take any, what anybody says seriously because you mm -hmm. never know. You never know. So it's like it, you just you have to you have to stick to that in life. Like everybody, like I said, everybody has their problems. Yeah. But you don't know what somebody's going through. You may be going through something bad, but it might not be as bad as them. Right. So why why take it out on them? Right. Why take your problems out on them? That's right. I and, and, and me and my girl, whenever we argue, she knows that I've always been the kind of person that I can be mad for fifteen minutes and I mm -hmm. blow that stuff up. Mm -hmm. I blow that shit away. Right. <laughs> like I blow, I blow it off, man. I do, I do. We all you know, I can be mad. I would be mad at you for 15 minutes, but I could walk outside and get some air, come back in, and no, I'm like, we, you know what? We, we, we you're right. We, yeah, we, yeah. We, 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 but I'm like, you, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you we gotta do it. it. Shout, shout, shout out to Raven. You know, um, I love shout you. to Raven. I love yeah, you. Yeah, shout out to Raven. Um, um, I, will, I will tell you something. Like, I, I remember there's times we have done that, mm -hmm. and um, but you know, like when you're in the moment, like to be to be a person that's a manager, managing a bar or owner, you know, liquor is involved sometimes. And people get people get a little a little aware. a little. You have to be aware. You have to be very you have aware. To be aware. And I've, get, I've, I've I've done it with a lot of people. It's we don't let people drive. Our security does a great job of that. I mean, if we notice somebody getting really drunk, we'll cut them off. Cut them We've off. We've cut plenty of people off. Shout out to Beezy. Shout out to Beezy. Shout out yep. to Beezy. Security mm -hmm. company in here. Mm -hmm. That's an excellent point, and I'm mm -hmm. glad you hit on that. Mm -hmm. Segway. So, I love how you. Listen, you you are a community person. You you look out for everybody. Um, I try. You, you're the, you're the, no no you do. You 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 are a big brother of Charlotte. A lot of people mm -hmm. don't know that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, what keeps you going? What what's your what's your what's your energy? What what keeps you going and, 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 and getting up in the morning and making you feel feel yourself to come out, fuel yourself to come out and, and have that frequency every day because it takes a lot. Well, first is money. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody who can't deny that yeah. can't so, argue so, that. So, you, it's all about the It's all about the It's all about, 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 about the <laughs> You get up in order to make money. It's all about liking where you're at. Mm. I love coming in here because I could talk to anybody. It could be it could be a four o'clock on a Wednesday and it's me and you like today. And it's me and you. Yeah. We and, but we're gonna have great conversations. Great conversations. So you like I said, you when I get up in the morning, right. I love coming to work. Right. I come in early. Right, right. Raven gets mad at me for that. Right. I literally will get up and she'll be like, Why are you going to work so early? Well, first I have orders, but second You love your job. I wanna be here. You love it. Like you don't know who's gonna walk in. You don't. You really don't know who's gonna walk you in. You don't know. And everybody that's that comes in here and everything, you don't know. They have their own personality. It's it's com Completely crazy. You have crazy people that you that you should cut off, but they're not crazy to you. You know what I'm saying? They may be crazy to you. They're not crazy to me. Right. So why? Like I, I'm genuinely. It, it's you never know who you're gonna meet, mm -hmm. and I love doing what I'm doing. Chet has gifted me this place to enjoy what I'm doing. Yeah. So it, all hats off to him. Um, but all hats off to anybody that comes in here, any of my regulars, any of my friends, my genuine friends. Like, I genuinely will call to check on you to make sure you're good. I know you will. You know what I'm saying? Just will. like you would me. Yeah. You know, even oh. if we get into an argument about, we argue about, about <laughs> T.I. And, and 50, you know what I'm saying? 50 is it, better. It's, it's ATL in New York. Southside. It is what it is. Southside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Marietta. <laughs> ATL. Um, <laughs> we just, we, we, it, 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 it's just genuinely a good time when you walk in. No, even I, if I'm having a bad day, I have a good time when I'm in here. No, I, I will tell you, and I will, I will tell you guys, um, I've known Jason for, for a long time, and um, I come here because I have a need to come here sometimes. Doesn't, it's not about drinking, it's about being around friendship, brotherhood, and camaraderie, mm -hmm. and that's very important. Mm -hmm. um, there's times where you know I've been ups and, uh, up and downs in my mm -hmm. life, and I've talked to you about Everybody it, and I'm, open, I'm an open person. Mm -hmm. And, um, and um, mental health is very important to us, but like, Absolutely. there's been times where I've left my job to come here, not to drink, but to come talk to you. Talk. To get and, it out. And, and, get, and, get, and get things out. We're, we're and men. Get things out. We're men at the end of the day. We are. And it's tough for us to get it out. It is. So it is. what's easier, going to sit with a therapist or sitting with a bartender and having a drink? Ric Flair, R Ric Flair turned his therapist out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but what, but, what, but what, what's better? If you know you can come here, get you a cold beer, Smoke your hookah and have right. a conversation, genuine conversation. What's better? 
Are you going to go sit with a therapist who t just sits there and listens to you? You're going to sit somebody that tells you what they think. I'm going to infuse. Okay. I'm well, going that's, to that's where we at. That's where right. we're going. All right. So, all right. So, all right. So, we, we, infuse is a spot to go to. So, we Please. know we know what it is and we know where it's at. But also. 312 the, North Myers, Suite 109. 312 North Myers. <laughs> now, now, there's other. There's Imperial. Mm -hmm. There's. Uh, Para. Para. Temple. Temple. Clubhouse. So, Clubhouse. And then 160. And I have all the hats. But you got all that. <laughs> I got all that. I always get the hats first. But he's got everything. And Chet, I appreciate you and I appreciate Jason. Yes. So let's let's get into some real shit. Cause you know, you got we gotta start, we gotta start capping. Yo, you're so, gonna cap. Alab 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 Alabama or Georgia. Alabama? What? Alabama Why or Georgia. Why would you even put that in there? Alabama or Georgia. Alabama the last, or the Georgia. Last two years, three years? Georgia. Alabama all day. or Georgia. All Georgia right. is better. Georgia's be Georgia's better. Right now. But who's better all around? Georgia. All around for the for the whole for the whole time. You can't do the whole time. We, right. I made that comment. What have you done for me lately? You're right. not gonna get me saying Alabama's better than Georgia. That's not coming out. It will never come out. Yeah, but y'all ain't shit, man. That's cool. <laughs> so back to back national champions. <laughs> so okay. So he gets Georgia. So who? Okay. So 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 on the flip side, who you taking? LeBron or MJ? And, and, and oh, that's man. one of Here the biggest. That's one of the biggest arguments we have in the <sighs> bar. It's always an argument. It's always an argument. Okay, I'm old. I'm MJ all day, right? right. Always have been, always will. Right. He's from North Carolina. Played Chicago, UNC. Yeah. I'm from Georgia, but I'm a huge Tar Heel basketball fan. Okay. I've just been that way. When okay. I moved here, when I moved here from Georgia, I played basketball, and you either were a UNC fan or a Duke fan. You couldn't okay. root for nobody else. Okay. Um, so I, I, know, I might change, though, because Damon Stoudemire is going to Georgia Tech, and we got Ant coming on the show, so you know he's a Georgia Tech guy. So and, and, and some, I might have to be a Georgia and, Tech and, fan. And some, and some I, might have, I might have to be a Georgia Tech fan. But uh, you just you, – you, you, MJ was different. He was different. He went from somebody that wasn't going to be picked first, he did, wasn't picked first, mm. to being the greatest scorer to ever play the game and winning six championships, right? Mob deep or outcast? Outcast. Georgia, baby. Cat. What? Look it up. Cap. Look it up. You got to wear the cap. No, no. You got to give me that. stats. You got to give me numbers. Who did more? Give me numbers. Yo, Outkast has, Outkast has had the, the, the largest selling album. There you but, go. You just so, answered your own question. No, 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 no. But the Hood Classics. The Hood Classics. I just spit. For New York. Yeah, for New yeah. York. For New York. We're, we're in North Carolina. That's the South, right? So, so, so you so, can so, ask so, so. anybody from down south, Outkast or Mob Deep, who are they gonna say? They gonna say Mob. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. So, uh, you know, uh, Outkast. So, 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 so Andre the Three Thousand has never dropped a single album ever. You know, you want to know? And y'all put him in the top five. Y'all put him in the top five. When he Jason? starts, when he starts doing this, he's capping like a mother. What now? You have Stats. never. So you you you, you buy show numbers. me soul. Yep. So listen, do you, do you feel do you feel do you feel Outkast, whatever single they had was bigger than Shook ones? Huh? Whatever single Outkast has had has it been bigger than Shook ones? Shook ones was an amazing record. Well, but it's one of the top. It's one of the yeah, top. It's, it's one, of the, it's on one of the top joints of all it, time. It, yes. But we we're, we're, are we going with the best sold, the number one album, or are we going with a Variety. Yo, Mob Deep got got, How got many? joints. They got they got four classic albums. Outcast don't. Yeah, I think I got two. Two. Yeah, the way you smoke your hook, I know I'm you can't. I'm cool. I'm cool in the polar bear's There's toenails. Oh hell. I don't I don't I don't know what a polar bear's toenails is like. I'm from but Queens. You, oh, here we go. He's I'm from, from Queens. I'm from Southside. He's, he's lived in North and South Carolina for how long? Yeah, that's what you get on my ass about. Yo, you, you, you call me Albuquerque. Albuquerque. New Al Albuquerque, New Mexico. Albuquerque, New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> He been, in, he been in North South Carolina so long he forgot what Queens was about, but he still rep Queens. Damn. Come on. Damn. Come on, man. Damn. And, and, and then he gives me this right here, but he's an Alabama fan. Well, that's because I was. I was. Who's from uh, Queens? That's uh, an Alabama whoa, whoa, fan. Whoa, whoa, he might as well be a Cowboys whoa, fan. Whoa, 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 he might whoa. as well be a Cowboys Shots fan. Shots fired, man down. Shots, shots fired, man down. I was married into an Alabama family. And I've been to the Iron Bowl. I've that. been, I've been, cute. I've been, I've been That's to the cute. Iron Bowl. I've, 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 done, 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 I've, I've been there. I've support, I supported That's Alabama. Cute. That's cute. And I'm a Kappa, so they got the, they got the Crimson. 
Oh, uh, like, okay. That's that's yeah. See, so you could have used that a long time ago. That being born into Alabama or being married into Alabama, that we don't we don't do that. I was there when Jalen Hurts. We don't do that. Was, I went to the Iron Bowl when Jalen Hurts was playing. That's cute. You, you could. You're still a Giants fan. A Mets fan. You're talking real spicy. Right? I mean, uh, yeah, I'm a Mets fan. You're a, you're a least, Braves fan. <laughs> Braves, least, Braves ain't been shit since Dale Murphy. <laughs> you ain't been shit since Dale, Dale Murphy and, and everybody Terry, that Terry played Pendleton. for your Mets when you were shit were on coke. You're right. We're the cocaine. We're the cocaine. <laughs> We're the cocaine. Mets. Doc Good. We're the cocaine. Mets. The cocaine. I mean, Doc Good and Daryl Strawberry. What else we need to talk the about? Best players ever. They would get out of rehab, come back, hit grand slams. And, and, because and, they hit that bump before they hit the ball. What's a bump? I don't, know, I don't know. I don't want to do it. Allegedly, 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 allegedly. allegedly, 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 allegedly. You're right. We don't know. Allegedly. We don't know. Allegedly. We don't know. That's, allegedly. What they, that's, that's, that's what they say. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay. I never, I never, so I never, I never did know. I'm going to go in this with you. Uh, since we're doing all this, I got a question for you. Uh, the Knicks or the Celtics? Listen. You want to talk better? You want to talk more championships? It's my guy. Yo, Mo just walked in. Mo, shout out to Mo. Hit the valley, hit the valley, Mo. <laughs> Yo. No, here, here, I'm about, I'm about to take it. The Celtics or the Knicks? You see, I should start getting that Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, sweating yeah, yeah. from the top of your head. Listen, I'm going to ride my Knicks all day. They ain't shit. Y'all just signed like two big ass contracts. Uh, we already three, had three, contracts. 300, 300 million for your, we your signed boy. One, Jalen. One for 300. And you think it's worth it? Absolutely. But y'all ain't won shit yet. We have one more than you. Everybody's won more than us, but we are still the number one fucking franchise, and we make the most money. Because you have seven billion people in New York. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's fucked up. They all motherfuckers in. They, 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 all, they, 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 all, they all moving down to Marietta too. <laughs> they definitely in Charlotte. They in me. You know how many people they, in Charlotte? They, oh they, my they, Jesus. So that's another question. So it's like, how do you deal with the influx of Northerners moving down and and and, and having a bar and, and it's part of life. It's part of life. It's part of life. Everybody's gonna move. Warmer weather. Mm -hmm. Better housing market. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Not stacked on top of each other like New York. Mm -hmm. um, but to be honest, North Carolina's coming right back so in the I, same way. I, I, I know you. That's cap. Because Why? you from you from the south. Okay. And you and you and you 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 you, you, you always get on my ass about being How from the north. How was that cap when and talk, talk about talking about Queens and New York? You always get on my ass about shit. Okay. Every, every time I shout out Queens, New York, you be okay. like, ah, yeah, yeah. So that's okay. cap. That's cap. But why is that cap? You just asked how is the housing market? How is everybody coming from there? So clearly, everybody from Queens or from New York wants to move down south. So how's that cap? We don't want to move down south. That's your cap. The, the clearly, prices, you do. The, the prices are better. The prices are better. The prices are better. Today's price is that yeah, yesterday's price. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take I'll take your two caps and raise you one. Okay. <laughs> Shout so, out. What I will say is this: uh, we're gonna wrap it up soon, but I want to say this: um, um, being at Infuse has been a game changer for me in my life. Absolutely. Um, and, and building with Jason um, and my and the people I met in this in this bar mm -hmm. have um, really shaped me as a person and getting older. Um, we've lost a lot of people. We lost a few people in here. Mm -hmm. We lost B. Mm -hmm. um, B. B is my dude. He, he actually used to own a security company. He was head of security for Stash House when yep. I started there. Yep. Um, and then he Shot Town's greatest. He started 333, which is a, the security company. And yep. He was also security for Queen Naja. Yes, he was. Um, yes, he was. Um, so a lot of people know who he is, but he was just he was a teddy bear. He you was. wouldn't mess with. He was one of the teddy bears you wouldn't mess with. He's the one that called me Albuquerque Queens. Yeah. So he was one of the, we respect him, we love him, we miss him. Um, his brother still works for me. Yes, X, so, shout out to X. So at the end of the day, we've lost. We lost, we've we've lost, lost people. people. But and 6'9". Uh, 6'9", six nine. Six nine, Matt, we lost Matt. We lost he Matt. He was just a genuine guy. He's 6'9", so that's why we call him Matt, clearly. That's why we call him. Um, but we lost him, he was a regular. He was in here all the time, just a genuine good dude. I was, uh, listen, I was there, I was there when, um, when Matt passed and we went mm -hmm. outside and I, I, you know, and you were, you know, you were you were in your feelings about it, and uh, I gave you a hug. I remember it. Not mm -hmm. to put that out there, but like, mm -hmm. I want to say, you care about your clients, you care about your people, you care about your family and your friends. Well, if we go back into Infuse. It's home mm -hmm. base, right? Home base. So whenever you're coming, we call it home base all the time now. That's our hats. That's our shirts. We call it home base for a reason. Everybody here is home, which means family. So we genuinely care about everybody, regardless of what happens, regardless of argument, regardless of. A fight, regardless of you being mad at somebody or somebody being mad at somebody, mm -hmm. when you come in here, it's home. It's home. And that's what we go with. 
So you, you guys got it. Um, definitely come to 312 North Myers Street. Um, this is a, is a, is a, is, is a, is a home-based business, mm -hmm. uh, a great bar, mm -hmm. but like we, we accept everybody. Camaraderie. Camaraderie is, is very important mm -hmm. to us. And um, you're going you're gonna to find me here, you're going to find Jason here, but when we're here, we love our spot. We're here. And this, this is my home. This is, this, is, this is my home. Home base. Home base. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Absolutely. Thank, thank, thank you so much for being with us on uh, episode five. We're going to toast up. To toast it up. Yeah. Yeah. Neck of, the, neck of the gods. Thank you to everybody behind. Yeah. And L. Neck we, of we, the we, gods. Are we, are we, are we, we going to do L boogies? <laughs> yes. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, guys, for being on episode Absolutely. four for us. Love you, Always. brother. Always. Always.